On the national news from Baba Magide Imo Television, first the headlines. Nigeria needs 250,000 doctors to meet WHO standard. Nigeria at 63, where we went wrong at Bakoba or Kori or Shotoku. Obasa Jomi not apologize to monarch's ex adviser Abimbola. Police uncover criminal hideout in Kaduna, nab 18 suspects. And on sport, Xavi Alonso opens up on possibility of leaving Boniface behind to coach Real Madrid. I am Morire Rebila Lawa, the news in detail. The President World I beg your pardon, the President World Medical Association, Dr. Osogun Enabulele, has exposed that Nigeria needs over 250,000 medical doctors to meet the World Health Organization's Dr. Top Bent Ratio. It revealed that Nigeria has fewer than 100,000 registered doctors, which he described as grossly inadequate to meet the doctor patient ratio. Osamu, who made this remark in Benin City yesterday during a public lecture organized by the Federated Chapel of the Nigerian Union of Journalists in UJ, Edo State Council, lamented that out of fewer than 100,000 doctors, only about 50,000 are actively practicing in the country. He said, by international standard, a doctor should be assigned to fewer than 600 patients. But in Nigeria's case, a doctor attends to over 3,000 patients. So, with this inadequacy, Nigeria needs over 250,000 doctors to cope with the current reality. The fact is, going by the last updated register of the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, we have fewer than 100,000 registered doctors in the countries. Let's say about 98,000 doctors. Out of these 98,000, only 50,000 or thereabouts are actively practicing in Nigeria. You may want to ask, where are the reminder? May have gone outside the country to practice due to the poor air remuneration. Many have left the profession, he said. And now, Bule stressed that for Nigeria to have a good healthcare system, there must be a political will by political leaders to meet the Abuja Declaration of dedicating 15% of its budget to the healthcare provision. If the, the cry our political leaders in the country travel abroad to queue or pool before seeing less qualified doctors just to check their blood pressure, which they can confidently do in the country. Tomorrow is the 63rd anniversary of Nigeria's independence, but there is little or nothing to celebrate, some eminent Nigerians have said. Tearfully, Dr. Olisa Agbakuba signed a former frontline democracy and human rights activist who have not done well at all. This is terrible. When asked is tough on Nigeria at 63, it is closed that it started the struggle to ensure democracy and good governance at the age of 29, but regretted that at 70, the Nigeria he fought to change is better than Nigeria of today. Also, in his 70s, Chief Chekwes Okorie, founder of All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA, who disclosed that he was 70 years when Nigeria gained independence in 1960, lamented that the dreams of Nigerians have been aborted by bad leaders, who he said have unleashed irreversible retrogression on the country. To a former political advisor to the former President Felicia Gombasajo, Chief Akin Oshotoku, the time is taken for the world's largest black nation and decisive action are needed to halt the nation's speedy slide into the Absi. Nigeria started on a very promising note in 1960 when the Union Jack was lowered and our green white green flag was hoisted. Founded on a tripod, she had three strong regions which competed elderly in terms of social economic development and emancipation of their citizens. The region were northern, eastern and western. The northern region covered all parts of today's 19 northern states and the federal capital territory Abuja. The eastern region had all five states of the southeast geopolitical zone Abia, Anambra, Eboyi, Enugu and Imo. And four south-south states crossed River, Akwaibom, Rivers and Bayelsa. The western region covered six states of the southwest zones, part of Lagos, Edo, and Delta. In 1963, by plebiscite, a fourth region, midwest covering today's Edo and Delta states, was carved out of the western region. Then the nascent Nigerian nation was the envy of the world as regions, rooted in physical federalism. 
try to outdo one another in terms of provision of world-class infrastructural and facilities tertiary institutions such as the University of Nigeria in 1960, University of Ibadan established at the College of the University of London in 1948, what became full-fledged in 1962, Amadou Benlo University in 1962, and Abafemi Amulawo University in 1962, among others attracted students from all over the world and were easily among the best in globe then. A popular professor of African languages and literature, Wande Abimbola, who is also a former special advisor on cultural affairs and traditional matters to former president Olusegun Obasanjo, has said clamor for Obasanjo to apologize for ordering some monarchs in your state to stand up and greet their governor may not yield the desired result given his military background. Abimbola, a former vice chancellor of the Obafemi Awolowo University in Leife, said he agreed with Obasanjo that monarchs should respect their governor but that it would have been better if he spoke to the monarchs in private rather than the way he did it in public. The passenger had at recent inauguration of the Oyo Isaini road project at instance of Governor Sheyi Makinde expressed his pleasure that the monarchs did not rise to greet the governor. I greet the kings and chiefs here sitting. I'm grateful that you are here. Let me say this wherever the governor is or the president, the king has to stand up. Stand up, he ordered them. After the monarch stood up, he again ordered them to sit, which they did. Among the reactions that greeted the action, the Council of Yoruba Elders, Yoruba Council Worldwide, the Olu Wo of Iwo, and the Pan Yoruba Shushu Political Organization, Fenifere, in separate statement, described Obasanjo's action as unacceptable, while asking them to apologize to the monarchs. The YCW also threatened to take legal action against him if he refused to apologize. However, in an interview with correspondent Abimbola said, We often forget that the Basajo is a soldier and the courageous soldier at that. Sometimes he does things that you and I may and say, Why should somebody be so brave to do this? It's because of his background as a soldier. The only thing I don't like about what happened is that it could have been done in private. Moving on to the next story. The National States Police Command has now 18 suspected kidnappers from different locations within the states. The police population's officer, Rahman Nensel, made this disclosure during a press briefing in Lafia, the state capital, on Friday. Nensel revealed that two suspects were apprehended while attempting to acquire additional ammunition and firearms, maintaining that the law enforcement proactive approach to curbing criminal activities led to the success of the operation. Most of the suspects have reportedly confessed to their involvement in the crimes and are actively cooperating with the police. Ramhan Foda noted that investigation has led to the discovery of a criminal hideout in Warsaw village in Senga, local government area of Kaduna State, where arms were successfully recovered. He added that based on intelligence, the police have arrested suspected kidnappers operating in Nesarawa Egon, Akwanga and Kokona local government areas of Nesarawa State. The police also paraded four other suspects involved in court activities. Four guns, 11 rounds of ammunition, and a vehicle were among the exhibits recovered from criminal hideout. The PPRO attributed this successful operation to the collective patrol support received from members of the public, traditional rulers, other security agencies, and the media. He, however, said the investigations are ongoing and upon conclusion, the suspect will be charged to court for investigation and prosecution. From Nasara State to Ondo, some members of the Christ Apostolic Church, CAC, okay, gone in Akure, Ondo State capital, have been abducted. Information gathered that the victims were traveling for a burial program when the attackers struck on a tourist Ifo road in the Ose local council area of the state on Friday evening. A source confirmed the incident to reporters in the early hours of Saturday. The source, who is also a member of the church, said that which worshippers were mostly choir members. At least 25 of them were in the bus traveling for the burial program in Roots of the LGA. They were abducted by the armed men and their bus was abandoned by the roadside, he said. For Milayo Dulami or Misoya, police spokesperson in Ondo confirmed the incident that the police anti-kidnapping squad and other tactical teams have been deployed in the area to rescue the victims. 
The incident happened yesterday afternoon and the police were informed that the church bore with the inscription CAC was abandoned around the electric car area and there are suspicions that the passengers in the vehicle were kidnapped. But we are already on the trail of the kidnappers with a view to rescue the abducted victims. Our men from the anti-kidnapping squad are combing the bush already, she said. From Undo State to Kaduna, the chief of the first staff, CDS Major General Christopher Musa, has said that military will flush out bandits and terrorists from the country. The CDS made the commitment on Friday in Kaduna when he paid a courtesy visit to Governor Uba Saini at the government house. For terrorists and bandits, it's just a matter of time. We are coming after them, and we are going to get them to leave the country completely. According to him, we are reassessing our theaters of oppression to make them more robust and more result-oriented. He explained that the military is expanding its operations to close the gap while changing its mode of operation, which could be both kinetic and non-kinetic. As military officers, you must take the two operations together, deploying more troops to close the gap, in order to make it more difficult for terrorists to move about freely, he noted. The CDS also appealed to everyone to be security conscious and report any suspicious movement, adding that everyone has a role to play in the society. Musa reiterated the desire to make Kaduna peaceful following its strategic nature and the fact that people regard Kaduna as a home to all. He assured that the military will come out successful despite all the security and economic challenges. Finally, on sports, Alonso has been identified as a perfect replacement to take over from Carlo Ancelotti at Real Madrid next summer. Ancelotti is expected to take over the Brazil job and Alonso is doing amazing things at Bayern Leverkusen. Alonso spent five years at Real Madrid and daring himself to the Madrid faithful and a move for his services will be positively viewed at the Bernabeu. Asked about the possibility of joining Real Madrid next summer, Alonso was tight-lipped. It's far too early to talk about something like that, Alonso said. Bayer over 04 is important, that's not an issue. Not even in the team, we didn't talk about it. Alonso was appointed manager of Leverkusen in late 2022, with the club close to the bottom of the table and it led them to a sixth place finish. That ends the national news from Baba Bagidi in more television. Before we go, some headlines. Nigeria needs 250,000 doctors to meet WHO standard. Nigeria at 63, where we went wrong, are Bakuba, Okorie, or Shotokun. Ambassador may not apologize to Oyo Mona, ex advisor. Police uncover criminal hideout in Kaduna, now 18 suspects. Zavi Alonso opens up on possibility of leaving Boniface behind to coach Real Madrid. For update of our broadcast on YouTube, our handle is Baba Bagide Imo Television. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. For Facebook, Bagide Imo with Alawi Adibayo, please like and follow the page. For other placement of goods and services, coverage of events and functions, please dial the phone number streaming on the screen for advert placement. Thank you for watching. I am Moriri Kavila Lawa. Audio Jump. Audio Jump.